My name is Courtney Burrell, and I'm making a video about what SNOO students feel about their food. I went around and asked SNOO students questions such as, should SNOO's food be healthier? Would you rather eat stir fry or chicken alfredo? What do you normally eat for breakfast? After gathering this important insight, I came to the conclusion that you must watch this video. Thank you for Do you think snoo food should be healthier? Um, I think there's a pretty good mix. I mean, there's obviously some healthier options uh, and then some not so healthy options. But um, I guess overall it can be a little healthier. I absolutely think snoo food should be healthier. I don't generally eat much on campus, but I would if it was healthier. Uh, I think this snoo food is like a lot of it's unhealthy, but there are some healthier choices in the dining center. But I think one thing that we could really push more is like more produce available. The most like fresh thing we really have is bananas and having something like an apple and an orange more readily available in the student store or the cafeteria would be really nice. Okay, thank you for your input. Stir fry or chicken alfredo? That's a tough one. I would have to go with chicken alfredo. Stir fry. Love stir fry much more. It's healthier and more distinct. Okay, thank you. What do you normally eat for breakfast? Uh, normally I eat a sausage, egg and cheese on a croissant that I get right in the student center. I generally eat a peanut butter banana smoothie and a granola bar. I usually choose a chocolate chip muffin for breakfast. Okay, thank you. Which one do you think is healthier? A cheese ball or a pretzel? Really? Lighter and not as dense as the pretzel, so you think it's less calories, but then it's got processed cheese on it, and I don't know how healthy that is in like the long term of things. Pretzel doesn't have really much to it, so those are just good, but I don't know. Personally, I like pretzels more, and cheese balls are out, so I'll, I'll stick with pretzels. Okay, thank you for your input. And that is a wrap up.